Hey what is going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14.8. Yes you heard that right 14.8. We thought Apple was done with 14.7 maybe expecting 14.7.1 but not iOS 14.8 but it looks like it is coming and it is a really really important update that you will get on your device pretty pretty soon. So in this video we're going to talk all about it and I will let you know guys why this is such a an important update now another really important thing is the like button of this video that helps out a lot so make sure you smash the like button all right so first of all iOS 14.8 has been spotted on Xcode 13 beta 4 and it has been spotted by Bernard Shanks and you can see it just right here so here we have 14.8 so this is basically confirmed that it will be released to iOS of course very very soon now I expect of course Apple to go through a few beta stages maybe like a couple of months or so before releasing iOS 14.8 to the public which will be a really really important update for everyone and will basically change like everything you've done until now the way you have used and updated your iPhone and this is why so if you take a look at this screenshot right here this is from iOS 14.5 beta now why this is important Apple was testing there a feature called right here install security updates well basically this feature allows you to keep the same iOS version without updating it but of course get all the security fixes of the newer versions now if you have listened to the WWDC 2021 you know that when Apple presented iOS 15 they th said that basically you will be able to keep iOS 14 on your device if you don't actually want to install iOS 15 so in September when Apple releases iOS 15 to the public you will have this update on your device and you will have the chance to actually enable this button right here and that way you can keep your device on iOS 14.8 and get all the new security fixes and patches that Apple will release in the future without having to update your device to a newer iOS version. So you will basically be able to choose in which iOS version you want to stay. If you just don't want to get iOS 15, you won't have to do it. You can keep your iOS 14 and of course get all the security updates that will be released in the future. And that's a really, really big change. I would never think that Apple would actually allow the users to do such thing, not update to iOS 15, but it looks like Apple is doing this and maybe it will be better for all the devices that will have to be seen but it's overall a great thing that apple is doing so just choose whichever version of ios you want to be in and just get all the new security fixes now as far as the release date goes for ios 14.8 i believe apple will release the first beta very very soon in maybe in a week or so we should see the first beta of iOS 14.8 and I believe it will be released to the public around the same time as iOS 15 will be released to the public because when iOS 15 comes you should have that feature already installed on your device so except the expected somewhere in September to be released to the public so that's basically it for this video guys this is iOS 14.8 coming really really soon and one of the most important things one of the most important updates that you got on your iOS device in quite a while it changes dramatically the way you update and you use your iOS versions so that's about it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on this video i will see you guys on the next one